Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am trying out the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. This is a very hyped <laughs> cleanser. Um, it's sold out often on Sephora.com. Um, this is supposed to be a really great cleanser for sensitive skin. It does have oats in it somehow and it is for removing makeup and cleansing the skin. So we're gonna try it out for the first time. You can use it AM and PM, gently massage a small amount onto dampened face and neck, rinse thoroughly with water, follow up with preferred serums and moisturizer. The back of the box also says you can leave this on for 10 minutes as a nourishing face mask. So the balm uses oat kernel oil, which is a rich natural oat oil which hydrates and moisturizes the skin. It's also formulated with colloidal, 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 colloidal oatmeal, which contains a high level of skin beneficial natural actives. So it has 3% oat oil, it has 3% oat oil and 1% oat powder, which helps reduce redness and irritation. All the ingredients are on the side here. You can see that. Sweet almond oil is the first ingredient, which is surprising. We're gonna just try it out, hope for the best. Pretty simple. I haven't tried this out, so I don't know quite what the texture is. And this has five ounces of product, 150 milliliters. This is pretty reasonably priced for like a mid-range drug drugstore. This isn't the cheapest cleanser, but it's not the most expensive. This is around $10. It has a seal, which is always a good sign. All right. Try this bad boy out. Ooh, it's definitely a yellow, um, creamy kind of cleanser, but it looks like it has some oils in it. Looks like an oil cleanser or oil balm. Ooh, and it definitely feels like one. So if you have ever tried a cleansing balm in the solid form, and then you kind of you know, rub it between your hands and it starts to feel a lot softer. Well, this is what that feels like. It feels like a regular oil cleanser after you've rubbed it in. So I am wearing a foundation from Giorgio Armani, the Neo Nude. I'm just trying it out for the first time. But that is really all I'm wearing is foundation, no other makeup. And we're gonna see how well this removes makeup. I'm just gonna apply it to dry skin with my hands. It definitely feels nice. It feels like a good quality oil cleanser. That's very creamy and balmy. Um, I can't, you know, I do have sensitive skin, but not super sensitive. So if, if you, there's always a risk if you to have in the reaction to any product, even if it's made for sensitive skin. You may want to do a patch test. You could also, if you want to use this cleanser not to remove makeup, but just to do remove sunscreen, or you like this type of cleanser, even just to wash your face, no makeup, this could certainly be an option. The only problem I would say for those of the folks in the U.S. is, well, Inky List isn't in our drugstores. You can find it at Sephora, and I'm probably missing some other retailers, maybe Ulta, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> um, but you'll probably have to buy this one online most likely for most of us. With any type of oil cleanser, I would recommend, you know, applying it to dry skin and removing it with a damp microfiber facial cloth. And that's what I'm going to do. If you have oily skin and you were to remove this just with water, no cloth, 
you'll probably have a hard time not only removing all your makeup but also removing all the product and you'll probably have some sort of residue. I think I'm good and massaged in. I think the cloth is going to do the rest of the work. I'm just going to rinse my hands. Alright, have my damp microfiber towel and I'm just going to rub in around my face to remove the product. The makeup and the product. I think what most people want from a cleanser is to do the job it says it's gonna do. Like, is it gonna remove dirt and oil and sunscreen and makeup from your face? Now, it doesn't claim to remove waterproof makeup or mascara or eyeliner or anything like that. There's no promises of removing that kind of makeup. So I would probably, you could try it out on your eyes, but you might need something separate with this cleanser if you're used to kind of an all-in-one product. But that is something you will have to try. I generally don't use cleanser, eye cleansers on my eyes to remove my eye makeup because it's more rubbing. I like to use a separate eye makeup remover. So I'm not going to try that out for you, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling like most everything is removed. See my dirty towel there, removed all that makeup. I'm going to go ahead and rinse my face. Now that my face is all rinsed off and dried, I'll tell you how my skin feels. My skin feels soft, probably because of the exfoliating towel. But I don't feel a lot of residue. My skin is still a little bit damp. But it doesn't feel heavy or oily. Like I don't really feel the cleanser on my face at all. Now I will go ahead and do this all over again. Of course with no makeup now. And just rinse it off with my hands and not with a towel. And see how much remains on my skin. So I'm going to apply less. Like that much. I think you should definitely adjust when you cleanse your skin, remove makeup, use an oil cleanser. Depending on how much makeup you're wearing, if you're wearing sunscreen or not, you should adjust how much you put on your face. You don't want to overdo it and like over apply because it's going to be harder to remove. I know more likely have a, a film. So just putting this on, I mean, even if I didn't rinse my face, it feels really good. But I know I get congestion, congested skin really easily. So I'm going to be sure to rinse this off. But it does feel nice. I will say that. If I had sensitive skin, I mean I do. It doesn't necessarily feel calming on its own. And there's I don't feel like it reduces my redness because, you know, I'm rubbing my face with a cleanser. Usually cleansers don't tell you they're going to reduce redness because there's friction and water involved. But I suppose, you know, if you leave some on your skin after you rinse it off, maybe there's some properties in it that could calm you down. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you if you use it as a mask, leave it on for 10 minutes, it could possibly calm things down, make you less red. Maybe that's what they mean. Um, okay, so my face is nice and coated. You know, it feels nice. I know that I do need to rinse this off, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and tell you how it feels afterwards. So, this is one of those cleansers that I wouldn't use if I don't want to remove my makeup because it and I wouldn't use it without a towel because I can feel that it's still on my skin now if you have really dry skin you could leave you could have that little bit of film left on your skin you'll be fine usually unless you break out easily but I could because I can still feel it I don't know it might lead to some breakouts um, so I don't like that it, it doesn't, you know, just rinse away with water, but 
because of it is a balm. I'm not surprised that it doesn't just rinse away with the water. Usually with a balm, to fully remove it, you need another cleanser that's of a different formula, like a gel or a milk or a foam, um, just to remove that residue. And it's one of those invisible residues, like it's not super thick feeling because I didn't put a whole lot. If I put more, I definitely would feel the film more. But it's going to be one of those sneaky films that you can't fully remove with water. Like you can splash your face all you want, the water can't break it down that well by itself. So I would recommend a cloth with this guy to fully remove it. If you don't like using cloths, I totally get it. Just follow up with a different cleanser to make sure it's fully removed. I think it's really nice. I think um, it's going to be good to remove makeup and sunscreen. You know, just be careful about how much you use and make sure you remove it really well. I think the formula feels really good. Um, it actually its not quite as luxurious and soft as the Elemis cleanser, but it's really close. So I have a little sample of the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And this one also starts out really creamy. It's not like a huge, it's not like a hard balm that you have to melt. But the texture of this guy feels very similar to the Elemis one. Very similar. And when I first felt the Elemis, I was like, oh, this feels really good. So yeah, I mean, they feel really good. The only big difference I would say, the Elemis has a lot of herbal scent going on, which I don't like. It's way too much. Um, I mean, it's also like seven times the price or something. It's like 60 or $70. Not for this size, but the, the fuller size. And the, the whole cleansing bomb is like 10 bucks. So you're paying for, you know, there's obviously a different formulation, different stuff going on in it, but also like a crazy, a lot of herbal scent. And of course they'll say it's like essential oils, but it's a bit overwhelming for me. Um, so I like the Inculus there, I believe. I don't want to promise that it's fragrance free, but I didn't really smell anything going on in it. But the, the texture feels like almost, almost identical. So if you have tried the Elemis, you want something cheaper, you want a good dupe, I would go with the Oat Cleansing Balm. I mean, it, it's not like the perfect formulation. I don't think either of these are. I mean, it's all personal taste, but um, for the money, I think Nikolas could charge a bit more. I'm just gonna put that out there. I've definitely been in situations where I need to get a makeup remover and a good cleansing balm, and I've gone to the drugstore, and I couldn't really find one. There's more available these days, but I like that there's more low-end options. Now, this isn't something that's gonna be available in any drugstores where I live, but maybe one day it will get there. Um, I think the price is right, and I'm happy about that. Um, is it going to replace my all-time favorite? No, because although I like this texture, I prefer another texture of makeup remover more. Something is a little less oily, a little bit lighter weight, and more of a let an airier texture is what I prefer. But if you don't mind like a, a nice creamy oil that you don't have to do a lot of work to melt down, this is a good one. That's just my first impressions though. If I have huge massive breakouts, I will do an update and say, yeah, I'm never using that cleanser again. But um, it will probably take me multiple uses to figure that out. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts. If you have tried this cleanser, do you love it? Do you hate it? What? Let me know your thoughts. Um, if you're curious, ask me any questions you want. Please click like. If you enjoyed the video, comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.